More people died in Massachusetts of an opioid overdose in 2014 than died of automobile accidents and gunshots combined. I've often said that you can't put 20 people in a room anymore without finding somebody who hasn't been directly affected by this epidemic. We've always had a problem with heroin addiction. What we're seeing increasingly, though, is traffic from the suburbs of young men and women that come from the more affluent areas that started on pills and their addictions have grown to the level that they can no longer uh, supply themselves with enough drugs to satisfy their needs and they've moved on to heroin. We haven't done anything about this, folks. We're trending in the complete wrong direction unless we have some strong leadership. And quite honestly, as far as this uh, uh, few days of, of pills, listen, the medical society and the hospital societies really haven't done much to t change this right now. Okay, but And it's time for us to do it. And, and, as, and, and I'm sorry, John, but when, this, yep. when the secretary was speaking about this commitment, you know, most, you know, when you talk about a 96% co-occurrence with mental health and, 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 and drug addiction, right, this is who we're talking about. And would you rather have your loved one spending a night involuntarily in a hospital bed or with me in a prison bed or in a coffin? I think it's an easy choice for everyone. Okay. The Massachusetts Chiefs of Police Association whole, wholeheartedly supports the, the governor and in these initiatives. Um, we, we realize that the opiate um, epidemic and the, the drug addiction problem that we're dealing with Massachusetts is not a law enforcement problem. And I think everyone is coming to realize that it's going to take everybody working together in order to solve it. Um, you know, we're seeing an awful lot of heroin out there that's uh, laced with fentanyl or pure fentanyl, but that all starts, like, like the governor says, with a pill. So. Me and Mayor Walsh, you know, f fully support uh, the governor. I know they work very closely on, on this issue that's killing way too many young kids, both in the city and across this state. Because as the governor said, it's now in the suburbs, it's rich, it's poor, it's everyone. And so I think like every issue, this one's going through three phases, except faster than any other issue I have seen in all my years in Congress. One, political education. That has now happened. It happened in pretty much a year and a half in our country. Two, political activation. Look at the people here. And they're like people like this in rooms all across the country. And the third is political implementation. You gotta begin to put these laws on the books. I give the governor a lot of credit. Uh, it's up to all of us as a commonwealth to address this problem. And it starts with the prescribers to really come up with safe prescribing practices in the governor's bill really addresses that at the grassroots. If you don't need an opioid, don't prescribe it. If you do prescribe it, prescribe it for three days. And if you need to do it for more than that, take a look, make sure it's justified, make sure it's not an emergency. Uh, we have an obligation as a society to help people and to save their lives. And I think it's a reasonable measure that we can take uh, to help our, our citizens and to make sure that they get the help they need in a timely way. You're gonna have to think of something a little bigger because we need to disrupt this. Playing around the margins here is going to get us nothing. And that's how I feel about this issue. And so we filed legislation twice now that contain a number of pretty significant departures from the status quo. And I'll be the first to admit that they're controversial. But we will not make progress on this issue, and we certainly won't solve it unless we break the trend and step on it. And that's going to require some pretty big changes in what most people would call standard operating procedure. 